Less than 10 pence. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and a brand new video. Well today I'm not going to be doing any technology reviews, it's just a simple tip. Today I solved the problem of how to get rid of noise from a noisy mixer tap. Basically throughout the week it was dripping and making a loud noise and keeping us awake. So it was coming from the hot water tap, not the cold one. And as this has been a mixer, I'm going to tell you how to solve the problem. Well, basically give you a few tips anyway. So the first of all, this particular mixer tap is a few years old and the valve itself is hard to come by. So I decided to have a look at the valve first. So I'm going to show you first how to remove the valve. So first things first, what we're going to do is just turn on the hot water tap first. It doesn't have to be much, just as long as it's running. Then behind the sink, you'll find a screw just like this one. You're going to have to turn this just slowly until the water turns off. We're just going to let that to drain just now. Make sure the screw is fully turned until the hot water is fully off and not dripping just like this. Just, just tighten it a bit more. And there we go. And we're going to do the same to the cold side. So we're just going to turn the cold water on slightly. Find the screw. Turn it off. And now the water should be fully turned off. So now it's safe to take the caps off the ends and remove the screws. Well, whichever one you have the problem with. So using a flathead screwdriver, just gonna pop the end off, put it to the side, and using a screwdriver, just remove the end cap screw. Now the screw's off, you may have a problem if your taps have been there for kind of a while to get the tap end off. Well, this is just a tip how to get the tap off if you find it hard to just pull off like that. So it should be as easy as that, but if it's not, just follow this simple tip. You need to get two spanners, just put it behind the tap end, try and fit them both on either side. So you're gonna do is grab both ends of the spanners and slightly push the end of the tap and that's what should happen <laughs> so that's just a simple way of getting the air tap off the end and yeah it doesn't do that much damage you can cover the end if you want to um, but yeah easy way of getting a tap off the end if you haven't had time so yeah the tap's off undo the cover and you're left with the uh, valve itself so using the correct spanner, we're just gonna undo the valve just now. This one's kind of tight. And you should have a bit of drippage, that's okay. Just let the water drain out. So what you're gonna simply do next is with this valve, you're gonna take the other valve off, which is the cold water one. You're gonna take the seal off very gently. Then you're gonna swap both seals over. So you're gonna change the cold water seal over to the hot water valve and the hot water seal to the cold water valve. The reason for this is you're gonna put it all together again and if the cold water valve makes the noise and the hot water one doesn't, then it just means that the seal has gone and that means you need to replace the seal only. If after swapping the cold water seal and the hot water seal over, the noise is still persistent from the hot water tap then that means that the valve is gone and that the water seal is fine but what i would do from here is chase up the valves you usually come in a pack of two and basically swap both over at the same time the water seals are cheap they're around about 10 pence they do come in a pack of 10 so i got these for a pound from um, i think b and q and i basically fitted one to this one here so that was my first step, replace the seal before actually buying a part. I know it's only 15 quid for the part of flying, but at first I thought I'd get away with testing the seal out. So if you swap the seal over, like I said, and screw the valve back in on both sides, make sure everything is tight and fitted back with a spanner. Put the valve cap back on, slide the tap end on, 
and lastly insert the washer and screw into the end of the tap. After the screw is nice and tight, you're basically going to slide on the end cap on both sides, turn the taps to the on position, and now you'll see that the water should be running and shouldn't be making any type of noise. So that's only if the seal has gone, not if the valve has gone. So first of all, go through the steps, have a look at the valve, have a look at the bubble seal. If you think the bubble seal is freeing, go and buy a bubble seal or basically swap over the cold to the hot to determine if it's the seal that's gone or the valve. Anyway guys, I hope this helps. Please share, please smash that like button and please subscribe. Thanks for watching. Peace.